everybody, this is Bonnie, and today I want to show you how I made this little vampire using um, the Cricut, and it was out of Mini Monsters, is what it is. It's on page 35. Um, I'm starting to make um, some Halloween stuff for my kids' scrapbooking books. But this one I decided I wanted to show you um, a card. I wanted to try it into a card. And um, this is what it looks like when it's all done, minus these things do not come with it. This is uh, Stampin' Ups. I added on to it, just something a little extra. So um, first thing I did was I cut out the card base, and I um, cut that at four and a quarter by five and a quarter. Or no, I cut it five and a quarter by four is what I cut it by so that it'll fit in a standard size envelope. And then I cut all the rest of the parts the same size. So I did layer one. I did both of these, layer one. I did uh, layer two. And then I also did this part here in black. So uh, let's get started. So the first thing when you cut it out, you'll get it'll come out like this, and then you want to score it so that it is scored in half, like so. And then you want to take your little uh, monster, the black one, and I use Tombow glue when I do, when I do this. You don't need a whole lot, just a little bit, and that's what I love about it. And also, it's great because it can get into all the little tiny areas <laughs> so and then you're just going to take this and you're going to line it right up on top of the gray layer and it gives you a little time too to position everything where it needs to be so then you have that on there like so then you're going to take the little uh, little guy here and do the same thing. Well, actually, back up. <laughs> before we do the, before we put the little guy on, I decided that I didn't want to use the little tiny white eyes that came with um, the guy. I wanted to give him some uh, other eyes, so I took just a regular punch. It's got, well, it's not a regular punch. It's a really tiny punch hole. You could probably make this same punch hole with your piercer, with a paper piercer. I just happen to have a punch that's about that size, so that's what I used. Then I just took some orange brads. I just happened um, to have a bunch of orange brads. Just tried to find two that were close in color for size. Oops, I can't even pick one out of here. And then I'll take and put the eyes in and open them up. He's naked. Yeah, I don't have them dressed yet, huh? And, and so then I got his little eyes on. And then we're going to put his hair. So I'm going to put a little bit of hair here. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Shh, 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 shh. Don't shake my table. You'll be shaking the video and then everyone will be upset with us. And then you add his little hair. I just love the way this little guy's turning out. <laughs> and then he needs his clothes, as my little one says. Because mm -hmm. he's naked. Yeah, so we'll put his shirt on him. Uh-huh, now we have to put his shoes. And then he has a little uh, tie. And then he has a little tie that we got to put like a little shirt collar here. If I could pick it up. That bubble? Yes. And then he's got his little bow tie. Got a little too much glue. And then that goes right there. Isn't he cute? <laughs> and then I just took him and I added 
um, glue and you don't have to make this into a card which obviously you guys probably know that and that's what I'm gonna do with them I'm gonna make a couple more and I'm not gonna make them into cards for the kids to scrapbook but I wanted to share this with you into a card form and then I you just place this one right on top of this one I have to hold it up here so I can get it positioned right Yeah, he is. Huh? And then you just have your cute little vampire. No, he's all done, but I felt like he needed to be holding something or doing something to that effect. Excuse me. So I got um, out the pendant punch that Stampin' Up! sells, and I punched out three little um, punches here. And I punched out these like that and then I took and I stamped using the basic gray I stamped the word boo boo whoops that B didn't come out too good boo <laughs> And then I took a three-fourths inch circle punch and I just punched these out. And then I took, um, before I attached these, I had some twine. And I went ahead and I just punched little holes in this. Using, you could use your piercer or in my case, I got this um, punch. So I'm gonna use the punch. And then I have some uh, baker's twine here. On that one I used, um, hemp twine but I don't have any hemp twine left so I thought I'd try this baker's twine I'm not even sure if it's gonna go through that little tiny hole if it seems to be taking too much time which it looks like it might be too big let me try something else I have another form of twine here it's like a beading thread that I thought might work because that looks like it's not gonna work no, I'm not sure if this one will neither. We'll try it. Okay, thank you, but please stop. Yep, this seems to be working better. Um, then I'm going to put this through like this. I hope you're getting this because I have to almost have it on top of my face. <laughs> well, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but I would continue on. As you can see here, I would just continue on with attaching all three of these. And then I just used a pop dot and I added um, the word boo on the pendant like so. And then I just tied it around his hands and used a little glue to hold it down. And that's it. That's all I did. Isn't that really cute? I really like how this came out. Here's another one that I did that I'm getting ready to send to my niece. Um, and this one opens up this way. And so I have that one. And then I also have um, this little... Uh, I don't know, light pole with, it says scary, haunted, and spooky on it. And I'm going to put that in the girls' scrapbook. So I thought that was really cute. Well, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you enjoyed this little episode. Thanks.